Welcome. I'm the Word Nerd, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the NLT Illustrated Study Bible. I'm just going to give you my thoughts and a flip through. So let's dig deeper. This is the hardback version because I prefer the hardback because it's number one, cheaper, and number two, it will stand up by itself on a shelf. So yeah, that's my thing. So, <laughs> so getting into the Bible itself, it has this dark page with texture on it. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't notice it had the texture until I was doing this flip through so I thought that was cool so it has the basics of every bible you know present wh who this bible was presented to some little pages up here you know and then it has the copyright page and then it has the contents page and I like it, the contents page because it has all the major pieces um that are in the bible like the inter terrestrial period and the uh, other things that this Bible offers, which I think are great. Um, and so I like that it's all in this contents page so you can look at it. Then it has the contributors page, everyone who contributed to this Bible. And then it has an introduction to this Bible by the team. Um, I think it's the editing team. And then what I like about it, it has a how to study the Bible with the Illustrated Study Bible. And then it has the basic principles and then using the Illustrated Study Bible as well. And I think that is great. I think it's great for beginners and also just to help you understand and navigate the Bible, um, the Study Bible. I think it's just, you know, I think it's very helpful. Then you have a note to the readers. And then... You have a introduction to the New Living Translation. I'm not interested in that. And then we get to the timeline of biblical history. This goes from creation through all the way through the New Testament. And it's just awesome. It's colored. It has pictures and illustrations. It's amazing. And on the top is the biblical time. Uh, line and then on the bottom you see in the gray that's actually other things that are happening during the same period so like other world major worldly other things like secular things that are happening um, outside of the bible times if that makes sense so then we get into an old testament introduction so each major parts of the bible has an introduction so like the Old Testament and the New Testament will have an introduction. And then um, you'll get into the introduction for the Pentateuch um, or the Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible. Um, and then each book has an introduction. So I think there is so much information, especially for a beginner. Um, and this page right here on the left is amazing because it's artifacts. It's really cool. Um, you can really um, look a lot deeper in this when you have this. Um, archaeological stuff intrigues me, so it's really cool that they have this. And you can get on the internet and like really dig deeper um, if you're interested in doing that. Um, so then, like I said, we have an introduction to the Pentateuch or the Torah. And I think it's so... All of this is like so helpful, especially like if you're a beginner. Um... And the first time that you're really digging deeper into um, the Bible, I think it's great. So, like I said, every book has an introduction, has a timeline on the bottom, and most of them have maps to major things that it talks about. And it just, it's just awesome. It also has cross references, um, an outline, and then it also has, um, like, if you want to read further into the certain things, it has like a little section for that. And then it also has like basic background information, like who's behind the text, the author, when it was written and stuff like that. And this Bible is two columned for the text. And then the notes are on the bottom. And then it has cross references on the left of the text. So, like I said, then you just jump into each of the books having an introduction. And then they also have these little 
articles. So like this one is a full page, you know, illustration about creation and has like an illustration to help you understand. Um, great pictures. And then throughout, you know, it has maps, but it also has these little articles um, about significant things with more cross references for you to look through. And then it also has um, full things about major people um, in the Bible. Like you, you can see, there's just tons of them everywhere. Um, and the maps are great. I really like the maps in the Bible. It really helps um, to get visual as you're reading and you're studying with this study Bible. So I think that is awesome. So then, you know, you have... So you can really just learn a lot like see there's a timeline and then information about joseph and then um we're gonna get to the introduction to history so the first five books is separated um into one group and then the next is the history so the history of israel and you get an introduction to that before you jump into the books uh, the book introductions and there's just tons of information, tons of pictures, t tons of illustrations. It's just so fun to look through these and um, really learn things. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just awesome. So, uh, like this, David is a major character in the Bible. And you have a two-page spread, timeline at the bottom, cross-references, and so much information. I mean, it's great if you're doing a character study. I need to do that on my channel, actually. <laughs> Anyway, so then you have an introduction to poetry and wisdom books, so Job, Psalms, Proverbs, um, things like that. And then you have, obviously, the introductions. So one thing I love about this Bible is, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen it. Um, in Psalms, they have this great illustration on the kinds of Psalms. Like, it has different, all the different Psalms categorized and in color and I love that I use this all the time when I study psalms so then you're going to have an introduction to the prophets of Israel and uh I think these illustrations are amazing like this one right here it goes from words and shows how the prophets overlap each other. I mean, it's just, there's just so much information in this Bible. It's just so great. And then you have what's really cool is the intertestamental period. So it talks about what is happening during the 400 years of where God does not speak. Um, and I, it's just, oh, it's just awesome. Then you have an introduction to the New Testament. And then, of course, each of the books has its own introduction. And uh, then you have an introduction to the Gospels and Acts. And then the book introduction for Matthew. It's just so much information. And this is not even including all of the study notes below um, the actual scripture, as you can see. So below all this is the study notes. The three columns. So the scriptures, two columns, the notes are three columns, and all this other th stuff is added as well. And it's just, it's just, it's just awesome. I really enjoy this study Bible. I do. Um, so these are just my thoughts on everything. Uh, my thoughts on the study Bibles that I am using to help me to dig deeper. So you have an introduction to the letters of Paul. And so... It just, it's just so helpful to have all of this information in one book. You know what I'm saying? And um, then you have, I think, an introduction to the other letters. So these are just kind of my thoughts on the study Bible. Um, I don't normally recommend study Bibles, but, I mean, if you're looking for a good study Bible, this is an option. I really like the NLT. And then it also has... Um, a section on after the apostles, what's going on with the church and the faith and things like that. And then it has the reference material. There's tables for measurements and coins and weights. And then what I really love about this study Bible is it has word studies from the Hebrew and the Greek. So they give you the Hebrew and English, the Strong's number, um, a quick definition, 
and then it gives you references um, that word is used in. And that is just amazing. They do it for the Hebrew and also for the Greek. And if you want to do like a deeper dive, you can just look up the Strong's number to do um, a deeper dive. And th having these in here is, is just wow. One other thing I like about it, it says featured index. So anytime that the notes mention something, it is in this index. And so if you're looking for something specific, it will tell you where it's located, what type of illustration or introduction of a book or whatever the case may be, where it's at, um, what book it's in, what page number. And that's so helpful to find something specific if you're just kind of checking out love or whatever, then you would be able to find all the notes um, that are used that are said throughout the entire Bible. And that's very helpful for um, studying. So after you have the featured index, you also have a combination um, dictionary slash concordance. So they combined the thing, a con a, the dictionary and the concordance, which I think is great. Um, you can just have, you look up something, you have a short definition, and then you have, you know, where major of those kind of go. Um, if you look at love, this is a verb, and then it gives you a definition, and then it's where it's used throughout the Bible. Now, this is not an exhaustive concordance, but it is a good size concordance. So, like I said, I think this could be like your main study Bible. Um, if you're looking for a main study Bible, this would definitely help um, for your understanding. So, I really enjoy this study Bible. And then you have maps in the back. So, the maps in the back are really awesome. I really enjoy the maps. It shows um, a lot of things. It helps you to have visuals of you know how people traveled and what it looked like and things like that and it also has an index of all the other maps that are found in the study notes themselves so if you're looking for something specific and yeah that's it so i hope you enjoyed um like i said this is just a quick you know giving my thoughts and giving a flip through and seeing if maybe you wanted to purchase this. There'll be a link in the description and probably in the pinned comment. It will be an affiliate link, um, so it will support my channel and my ministry to continue to bring you videos. Um, if you would like to support me in that, just use my link. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. And remember, God loves you and he's always with you. God bless.